What's going on, everybody? It is Bryce, your favorite AMP IA in Part 147 instructor, back again with another video. Yes, I'm in the same clothes as I was in the last video. Not because I wore them again, but because I'm filming two videos in one day. Because my computer is here, not my computer, my camera is here. It is charged up all the way, so I might as well go ahead and shoot these two videos and maybe give myself a break next week. So, in this video, I'm answering one of the most common questions I get on my channel, which is, I'm a car mechanic. I'm a diesel mechanic. I'm a truck mechanic. Do you think aviation would be a good fit for me? So to address that, and I'm, I'm probably not going to make this a very long video, but to address that, if you've already got mechanical skills and knowledge, you know how to turn a wrench, as they say, and you're working in automotive, you're working in diesel, you're whatever it is, right? And you want to become an aircraft mechanic, I would say this. If pursuing aviation is something you're passionate about, you already have the skills, the mechanical skills there, you're going to be successful in aviation. A lot of the stuff is very similar. A lot of the concepts are the same. A car's engine works the same as a motor, uh, not a motorcycle's engine. A car's engine works the same as an aircraft's engine, unless of course it is a jet. But still, those things are going to transfer over. That knowledge is, transfer, is going to transfer over. And there's going to be a lot of new information for you to learn, but ultimately you're going to be okay because you have a lot of that base knowledge that can take a long time to build up. I have students here at the school who are fresh out of high school. They're 18, 19 years old. I even have some in high school, to be honest. Um, they're fresh out of high school. They're 18, 19 years old. They have never touched a wrench in their life. If I give them a test on tools right now today, they would fail it. And we take people from not knowing anything about maintenance all the way through to the point of being an aircraft mechanic and being somewhat successful at it, right? So if you're doing this, if you're already a mechanic, you've got a good shot at it, just go for it. And I also hear people saying, um, I work HVAC, I work electricity, I'm a plumber, um, whatever it may be, or I was cybersecurity in the military, or I'm 60 years old, right? It's never too late to start aviation. If this is what you wanna do, if you're passionate about it, I know I've made a couple videos like things that suck for aircraft mechanics, but if it's what you wanna do, and if it's, you're passionate about aviation, and you've always wanted to work in airplanes, then do it. There is good, good money out there in the field. There is good benefits out there. There's also jobs with good time off. There's jobs that don't pay as much. It is such a broad industry, and there is so much you can do. If you wanna work in an avionics back shop, which is kind of similar to what I'm in now, which is just an electrics room, you can work in an avionics back shop. If you wanna work in an engine overhaul facility, you can do that. You can go work wherever you wanna go. If you wanna chase airline money and you wanna make $40 to $60 an hour, you can do that too. If you're a pilot and you just wanna get your AMP so you can work on your own airplane, yes, I have students that are like that too. You can do that. And honestly, I think it's, it's worth it. It's worth it to go through the school. It's worth it to learn about airplanes. You'll be surprised how simple and how complex they are at the same time. But if you're definitely, if you're an automotive mechanic, I've done both. I've worked on both. I had a Volkswagen Jetta with a 20 valve head. Figure that out, okay? And I prefer aviation, not because it's easy. Aviation is very, very, very difficult. But the way it's done is very different. And I've talked about this in some other videos with cars. A lot of times you do bitted hours where um, if the job's supposed to take four hours and you get it done in three, you still get paid for four hours. And most people put in, I don't know, 50, 60 bitted hours in, in, a, in a 40 hour work week. Well, aviation's gonna be straight salary, not salary. Uh, aviation's gonna be straight hourly. It's going to be 40 an hour regardless of whether or not you're working on the airplane. If you're in training all week for something, you're still gonna get paid your $40 an hour. Overtime is actual overtime. And honestly, I love aviation. I love working on airplanes. I like being an aircraft mechanic. It's always something that's been very rewarding for me. So if you wanna make the switch, take, you know, take my advice with a grain of salt. I think it's worth it. I've worked on cars before and I prefer working on airplanes cars you have to deal with a lot of people you have to deal with a lot of different politics of dealerships and 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 things like that with aircraft you never deal directly with the customer now i realize cars you don't always deal direct, directly with the customer especially if you're working at a uh, automotive dealership like toyota or something right you don't deal with the customer but smaller automotive shops you will and aviation 
It's very rare that you're gonna have to deal with the customer. I'm talking wide body aircraft here, not general aviation. It's very rare that you're gonna have to deal with the customer. It's very rare that you'll ever see them. You just have a boss that's managing the project and you just gotta hit your goals. A lot of people ask me about you know, stress. With cars, this, air, this car has to be done today. It's gotta be out of here, right? With airplanes, they're so large and there's so much to do that the project is six weeks, two months, three months, six months, a year, whatever it may be. And there's an entire team of people that are managing the project and setting the goals that we're gonna hit throughout the project. So it's nowhere near as stressful day to day. In my opinion, it's just, we're going in and we gotta to get to a certain point today. And we'll, once we get to that point, we're done. So anyways, I hope that is at least somewhat helpful. If you're on the fence, if you're in automotive and you wanna become an aircraft mechanic, I strongly recommend you do anyways. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on Instagram. I don't have a Facebook, shoot me an email, whatever, whatever brings you joy and happiness in your heart, as I like to say. Go build something and be easy.